South Carolina's fetal heartbeat bill is in effect after a federal judge lifted her block on the law over a year after putting an injunction in place. The strict abortion law bans the procedure in most cases after six weeks of pregnancy. South Carolina becomes the latest state to place stricter abortion laws into place after the U.S. Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade Friday. Wake Up Charlotte's Richard Devane shows us the latest reaction both in support and opposition of this ruling. When a heartbeat is detected, it is now against the law to have an abortion in South Carolina. It's called the fetal heartbeat law, which was the state law that was blocked until the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade. The fetal heartbeat law also requires an abortion provider to give a mother the opportunity to view an ultrasound, hear her child's heartbeat, and receive information about her child's development. There are exceptions allowing abortions in cases of rape or incest as long as the fetus is fewer than 20 weeks along, and in cases which an abortion is necessary in order to save the life of the mother. In a tweet, Governor Henry McMaster shared his support of the new law, saying in part, countless unborn children will be saved because of this law. Not everyone is backing the new law, however. Women's rights activists argue that in many cases, women don't know they're pregnant at six weeks when the ban would begin. By the time most people find out that they're pregnant, they would no longer legally have an option um, to have an abortion. They would be forced to carry that pregnancy by the state of South Carolina. And that is just an incredibly dangerous and offensive um, position for people to be in. Richard Devane for Wake Up Charlotte.